Hello, it's Warden Mom here today with you with two new shoes from Zushu. Both of them are by Jay Adams. The first shoe I have here is this great western style booty with a French style here and a low block heel. This is a more of a rounder toe than most western style sh booties and boots out there, but it does have a bit of a point. Not too much, but enough to be comfortable in. This shoe was a little tight in here, but not too much. It was true to size, so I would wear maybe a thin sock with this rather than a thick one. But since it's a lower booty ankle, like right in here, then, uh, you know, no-show sock would work, and most of those are thin, so that works out. The fringe is just one strip. Most have, like, maybe two strips to make it a full fringe look, but this actually has a full fringe look, if you can see. There's... It makes it look like there's two straps of fringes here, but there actually is just one. It has a zipper here on the inside, so it's easy to be a pull-on booty. This one has great tread. It's very comfortable to walk in. It's very light. The heel is a great size. It has a great angle, if you can see. Some of them are just a, more of a square look, but here they cut it at an angle so it goes with your foot so it's a little easier to walk in. It's more of a plastic rubber heel so it's a little lighter when you're walking. I personally love the western look and I love the fringe look. I think it's very cute, it's very unique and it goes great with like a fringe purse or, or anything like that. I just think it's, you know, that's a little fun when you're walking. I have a couple um, shoes with some fringe on it, some with the little tassels and stuff and I think they're just super cute. These come in a couple other colors. There was a couple different shades of brown, there was a black, and I think there was a gray, and there was a cute maroon one that I was very excited about. I might get that one next. It was a little higher up in here, so there's different cuts. So um, if you look at the link that I will provide at the end of the video, you'll see the different cuts. This one, it was a little higher in this length, and they had it in black and red, and then they had the lower ankle ones here in different colors as well. But super cute, super comfortable, and definitely a great style to have in your collection. The second shoe I have is this high heel, well, block high heel, I should say, um, shoe by Jay Adams. This one's more of a sandal type, you know, great for summer and spring. It has these cute little cutouts here and an elastic band by the heel. These cutouts are made of these little triangles. To me, it kind of reminds me of like Egyptian style, you know, I don't know, pattern, I guess you could say. But the triangles start off small here, and you see as it goes up the shoe, it gets a little larger in size, which I think is super cute. It show, definitely shows off your toes right here, and it shows off your skin underneath, and it's a very cute sandal. I would have liked to see more of a buckle here, or perhaps... Um, you know, those little Velcro straps that they've been coming out with now. But this is just elastic. So you kind of have to stretch it to put your foot in. And I thought that was a little difficult to get on. But it does stay on your foot very nice when you're walking. So you know how some heels do the flop. Like a, I don't know, like a flip-flop. But these don't do that since they kind of hang on to your foot a little more. But it is definitely hard to get on with this elastic strap. I would have liked to see something a little different. Even perhaps a zipper would have been nice. But it is still a super cute shoe, and I still love it. I love the design. It does fit nicely on the foot with the arch here, if you get one that's true to size, which this does fit to, true to size. This is more of a wood heel rather than a plastic or rubber heel that some do have. But this is more of a wood heel, so it is a touch heavy. Not too much, but it is a touch heavy. But with this particular shoe, I think this heavy heel helps foundation it more. I didn't have trouble walking in it, and it felt more evened out with the heavier heel. Like, I was more balanced, if that makes sense. I would have liked to see a little bit more tread on this heel. It is enough tread, you know, like if there's water or something, you wouldn't slip and slide, but I think after a while it might wear down and it might be a little slippery, so I would have liked to see a little more rubber on the end of this. But, this is super cute, and I think out of the cons of the, you know, tread and stuff, it is still a great shoe to have in your collection. I love these little triangle cutouts. They are just too cute. This also comes in a couple other colors. There's a black and a darker brown. And I can't remember if there's a gray or not, but I had to do the nudish color because that is in right now with the summer and with the spring 
that's up and stuff. So this will look definitely cute with dresses and skirts and even with capris and stuff, whatever you, you know, wear during the summer, definitely a cute sandal. Well, I hope you liked my video review on these two great shoes from Zoo Shoe. And as always, I will include a link below if you're interested in either or of these shoes or both. And that way you can see the different colors they come in and the different, you know, styles and stuff like that. And if you like the video, please subscribe and like so you can check out more great shoes from Zushu and other great styles and other videos I have to come. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.